And the very last point in terms of earthquake safety is what do you do if you're not at home? And yes, you most likely spend a vast majority of your time at home sleeping or whatever might be at home. But what if you're not at home? What if you're out shopping? So the most important thing is that if you're out shopping in public or you're somewhere else or you're on the road, okay, well, if you're on the road, your car might fill, you might not. The most important thing is whoever's in the car to pull over towards the side, somewhere that's not, somewhere that hopefully looks safe. You don't want to stop under, on top of a bridge or under a bridge, but you want to make sure that you're over on the side of the road, stop the vehicle, let all the shaking happen, because you don't know, is the road continuing or is there something ahead of you? There are also, and with all of these, there might be other people who are completely panicking. So that's why it's important that you stay safe and you're out of the way if somebody else doesn't know how to deal with the fact that there's an earthquake. You are being educated about earthquakes. You need to know that, all right, I'm going to stay calm and hope everybody else help other people stay calm. So yeah, if you're on the road, kind of pull over to the side, not, not near something that might fall on you, and wait it out. Um, then if you're out shopping or somewhere else, really look at the store. Where, where is there a safe place? You want to make sure that you're still, no matter what, crouching down, protecting your head and your neck. But think about if you're at some place like Costco where things are stacked really high, go to some place like, I'd say specifically Costco, the middle of the store where the clothes are because there's nothing that's going to fall on you. Um, but really, but honestly, as you go about your day over this week or in spring break, walk around outside, wherever you're going, go, if there was an earthquake right now, what would I do? And just start asking yourself that question more and more. Would the, and then sometimes you're in a store that's got all this glass and all these nice things. And you go, ooh, this would not be a place I want to be when there's an earthquake. But think about, okay, then where would you go? Um, but it is important, don't run, don't try to run out of the doors because if other people are running, then it's, that and that's going to cause more trouble. People will get injured there. Um, no matter what, do make sure that you don't want to be in an elevator during an earthquake. That's why we hope we have the early warning system to tell people to get out of an elevator. You just want to make sure that that's not the safest place. You want to make sure you come out of an elevator. Um, and no matter what, just kind of fight. It's, it's using your best judgment. And that's why it's kind of practice and thinking about ahead of time um, about, all right, how am I going to protect myself beforehand?